Jam City really saw people getting excited over the main story all week and uh, decided, you know what, let's ruin that by boring people to death for a singular day. Good morning everyone and welcome to the end of the Keeper season in Quidditch. Our time as Keeper is over which means when the next Quidditch chapter does come out, we'll be playing Seeker. I really hope it doesn't come out too soon. Chapter 37 in the main story is going to be pretty awesome. Like I said, it's not unheard of at this point. I think the entire community at this point knows that Drake Pick is coming back. She's an Azkaban prisoner. And that's going to happen in chapter 37 for those who did not go into the two depths of the data mine. And uh, I already know what route I'm going to get. I am very excited for that and nothing else matters to me. I don't need to paint a smile on my face. You already put one there when you accepted the trophy for Hufflepuff. Thank you, face paint kid. Yeah, we won the match. We won the final match. Your Quidditch Cup victory is 100.3% deserved this season, Sarai. Thank you, Worfi. Today, we celebrate not just our win, but also the hardships that brought us here. In all seriousness, I am happy to have Orion back on the team. Okay, just stop making me captain now. Now, you just stay captain. Do captain things. I'm, I'm, I'm not playing captain anymore. I don't like it. Hello, Sky. Good morning. Smashing. Now that you're acting captain. Yes, yes, please stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Yeah, can you stop making MC captain now? The team is all back together again. Yes, Kai, now that we are, we can finally enjoy our big win together. Tell us, Rai, what did it feel like when Madam Hooch presented you with the winning trophy? Okay, I guess I'll go with this. Receiving the trophy itself was fine, but the real thrill was winning the championship with each of you. Yeah, that's more like it. This is the third time our team has finished our, our season on top and the feeling keeps getting better and better. By the way, you can lose the Quidditch seasons, by the way. If you have lost every single match, then uh, your opposing team will get the trophy. I agree, Srahi. Trophies may be big and shiny. <laughs> There's nothing more satisfying than the thrill of a win and all our hard work paying off. Thank you! Now that we've won the championship, however, there is one more thrilling thing we can do. Oh no! I, I wonder what the logic is going to be for us ending up a seeker. And that's for all of our house to celebrate. <laughs> Go ahead! I couldn't have said better myself, Srahi. Celebrate, celebrate! What are you gonna do? Hey, you lot! Okay, no, nothing, nothing of the sort today. Um, you guys gonna do anything? Okay, <laughs> I was like, Oi, you lot! You heard our acting captain, let's have ourselves a, have ourselves a proper celebration. That's what they were doing. <laughs> Most of the Hufflepuffs are celebrating, but your seeker seems a bit distracted. Oh boy. What's going to be our logic? We beat a lot of other great teams to win the top spot. I am so concerned about our seeker. Because we've had a, because a chaser it was that one chaser is out of commission. For Peter, it was Bean needed to leave the team for a bit to pass her classes. For Keeper, it was graduation. Well, what is going to be the logic for Seeker? What is it going to kill the Seeker? I'm so concerned. It was one of the best matches ever participated in. Thank you. Uh, by, by, by the way, um, the Hufflepuff Seeker, I called her Fiona because no one else will name her. We all fought hard for the Quidditch Cup, now it's time to celebrate. Yes, that's what everyone is doing. I am concerned about our seeker. Please tell me, are you okay? Are you sick? The celebration is missing something and I think I know what it is. I'm just going to skip to the part where she tells us what's the problem. Alright, this is making me concerned. It's been a pleasure playing alongside you lot this season and a pleasure celebrating with you too. I agree. Except there's one thing this party is missing that would make our celebration even more fun. Oh, what's that? Butter beer. Oh. What, 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 what is this going to be a butterbeer poisoning situation? Let's go seek some out of the three broomsticks. And once you get there, I have some important news I'd like to share with you as well, Sarahi. Oh no. Brilliant. We'll continue our celebration over at the three broomsticks. And here what our team seeker has to say over a round of refreshing butterbeer. Is she graduating too? Honestly, that would be the, like the most normal thing. Oh, that's nice. All the teams are celebrating together. But that's so sweet. We've all been waiting for you, Sarahi. Come on in and join us. That's that's so nice. That's so nice that all the teams are here. One refreshing glass of butter beer for the guest of honor coming right up. Thank you, Madam Rosmarta. By the expression on your face, I'd say there's a 91.7% chance you managed to surprise you. That this is really cute. And I'm the only one not wearing my uniform. Hello, there you are, Sarahi. Surprise! What are all four Quidditch teams doing here? I thought I was supposed to be meeting your team seeker to hear some big news. 
We have to lure you here somehow so you won't be suspicious of a surprise party for you. Oh, okay, you guys are sweet. You're throwing me a surprise party, but why? You may have beaten us to the Quidditch Cup this year, but you also did something that no other player has done in all our time here at Hogwarts. You united all four of our teams and saved our Quidditch season, and for that we'd like to say thanks. You all are sweet. You all are so cute. Thank you. And there's no better way for us to do that than bringing everyone together again for a round of whatever. Brilliant! Thank you all for coming out to celebrate. You all are cute. You all are very cute. But wait, do you actually have a big announcement to make or not? I do. Grab yourself a glass of butterbeer and I'll tell you all my big news. Did she get placement in a team or something? What is happening? Why are you leaving? Please, Shura, don't leave us. I don't want to be seeker. The game is lagging so bad. It cannot handle this amount of people on screen. I'll be a better player if I can get a deeper understanding of how snitches move. Okay, what is happening? What does any of that mean? I've enjoyed playing Quidditch for Harvard, but it's time to move on. Oh no! This says she's graduating. Like a tide, our team ebbs and flows. It's fluid, ever changing. Thank you, Orion. I'm not even paying attention to Orion. I'm sorry. Out with it, mate. What is it you're trying to say? Yes. Is, is she just trying to be as cryptic as Orion? I'm going to take a year off to do what I love the most. A year off? You're just going to. Okay, so like Orion, even he is going. Like Orion, she just just wants to take a season off. You know what? That makes a lot of sense, but it makes just a little bit of sense. Let's have a toast to Sly Silvers for saving our season. That's so nice of you people. I'm so proud of these other teams also. This season of Quidditch will be my last. Oh, basically she's graduating. Let's just assume she's graduating. Uh, until she comes out and say it, I don't know what I'm supposed to assume. So basically, I just assume she's graduating, right? If I'm hearing you correctly, it sounds like you're retiring as the seeker of our Quidditch team. Not to be wrong, playing Quidditch for Hufflepuff has been an incredible honor. But in order for me to truly improve as a seeker, I need a deeper understanding of how Golden Snitches move. And that's why I've accepted a prestigious invitation to study at the Snidget Sanctuary next year. Oh! oh that makes a lot of sense. That, that makes more sense. Congratulations! After a year of studying Snidgets, no Golden Snitch will stand a chance against you. But while you're not doing that, it does raise the question of who will take over as our team seeker next season. That's an easy one, mate. You should take over my position as a half of seeker. This is like the exact same thing as it happened with the keeper and um, I don't know how I feel about it. Me, as a seeker. We all saw how brilliantly you captured the legendary golden snitch of Hogsmeade. Oh yeah! That was a reference to the fact that we'll be seeker next. You're observant, quick to take action and adaptable. You possess all the qualities that make for a brilliant seeker. Wow, thanks. Again, in, I think in my canon, I'm just going to keep Sarahi a beater. Once again, I can sense the balance of our team shifting. It's not in a bad way though. And so, since everyone is making announcements, I'd like to share some news with the rest of you as well. Please don't make me captain. If he makes me captain, I will get up and end this video right now. What is it, Orion? After observing the way you led our team as acting captain this season, and getting to see here today just how much all you've done for this game that brings us all together. <laughs> I tried to imagine. This video has ended. This video is ending. Mother! Mother, I am so mad! I am so mad! How could I do this to the sunshine man? I hate this game! I hate this game! We like Captain Orion! I want Captain Orion! Orion is captain. I don't want to be captain. No. I officially hate Quidditch. Quidditch is the worst thing in this game. This game sucks. The writer sucks. Who, whose idea was it to make MC captain? Who was it, Jam City? Who did this? Who did this? I just want to talk. Where is my damn gun? I'm so upset. Both of those are terrible things. The Seeker season will be the worst season of the Quidditch. I thought this was the worst season because we didn't have Orion in it. Orion was basically important only for two seasons. And then this. Helping others is a own reward. Shut the hell up. Am I supposed to be happy about the fact that after abandoning Orion for an entire season. I am supposed to be captain now. Am I supposed to be happy about this? 
I am going into Mama Tori's DMs right now and yelling. This is the worst thing. This is the worst case scenario. This is the one thing. This is the exactly the thing that I didn't want to happen. This is the one thing I said I did not want. I don't know. I was yelling in Mama Tori's DMs at the one thing that shouldn't happen. I don't know Nolan saying, hey, you've led the team pretty well this season. Maybe you should do it permanently. No, I don't want to do it. He better not say this. He better just stay as our captain in the next season. No. Is there more to do? Orion, I'm serious. Orion, how? Why? Why? Why, Jam City? Why would you do this to Orion? And me? This is so stupid. Ah, uh, so apparently the new chapter is starting along with the previous one. Okay, this is going to be a longer recording session than I thought. The central plot for the entirety of the Seeker season will just be the fact that MC is adjusting to being captain. I hate this game and I hate everything about this. This is the worst thing. This is the worst case scenario. I made sure to keep up with my studies, so this season my beat is bad is once again at your command. Shut the hell up. I certainly got some big shoes to fill this year. You were a brilliant keeper last season, Sarahi. Okay, new unnamed keeper, yay! I love the sight of fresh pitch at the start of a new season. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't want to. I don't even want to do the rest of this recording. <sighs> Hi, Orion. It's a beautiful day to kick off a brand new season of Quidditch, don't you think? One season ends and another begins. The great circle continues on, and yet, just as summer leads into fall, <laughs> each new season brings great change. And this season, we'll have you as our new team at Game Group and stuff. Every time I see people referring to MC as the new captain, my heart breaks a little more. I'm considering just skipping over the Kiko season. Does anyone even care about watching Quidditch videos? I know Mama Tori who does care about watching my Quidditch videos. <laughs> I am one of the two people who does those. Mother, I am in pain. Hogwarts mystery is very good at pissing me off. Thank you again for interesting me to be your successor. I don't care. I don't want to be. As you know, being Hogwarts captain is a great honor and a great responsibility that I shouldn't have. You did a terrific job as Hogwarts acting captain during my absence last season. So I was an acting captain for a reason. I was okay with that while you were gone. You are back now. Be captain. I want your damn moment of vivification. You helped our team find balance again and strengthen our minds, bodies, and hearts. Plus, last season Quidditch Cup victory would not have been, would not have been possible if it weren't for you. <laughs> and that is why I know you're the right person to take over as captain this year. But why? What are you graduating or something? No, you have literally no reason to step down. Why would you do this to me, Orion? That means a lot coming from you, Orion. I don't care. I want Orion to be captain. Mother, can we go back to the tangled AU, please? I need serotonin. Do you have any advice for me before we kick off our new season? Every captain walks a different path when it comes to leadership. So you need to figure out what's right for you. But don't worry, Sri. I know you'll find your way. I, I don't care. I, I legitimately hope I'm a bad captain so you can take over me. And I'll certainly do my best to guide you as you set out on this brand new journey. We have one season of Quidditch left and they decided it would be a good idea to make MC captain. Thanks, Orion. And speaking from setting off on a brand new journey, let's all huddle up so we can address the team with the very first meeting of the season. I don't want to. I am so upset. Oi, circle up mates. Our new captain needs your attention for our first meeting. Stop calling me captain. It was funny in the keeper season being captain and all, but now it's just stupid. I hate this so much. And I can't be the only person who absolutely hates this. I know Mama Tori and I hate this. There's a reason we both said, screw whatever's written in this Quidditch plotline. I'm writing my own. Sarai is going to remain the beater the whole time and she's never going to be captain. She left Quidditch in year five. The season's going to be smashing. Can't wait to get back on my boom. I don't care. I'm so, I'm, I'm so upset. I think should be very proud of our Quidditch Cup in last season. I mean, yeah. I, I don't care. I hate, I'm not, I've never, I am never reading a line in which I refer to myself as captain, as if I want to be captain. I am never reading one of those lines. Up until year five, year five, which was Sarahi's last year playing Quidditch, Sarahi was shy and hiding behind people. You think she's cut out for leadership? No. She was never a leader. She wasn't ever a leader before the end of year five. Thanks to all our hard work last season, the Hufflepuff will be starting out stronger in, in a stronger position than ever before. We are currently the undefeated three-time returning champions of the Quidditch Cup. That being said, we can't afford to rest on our laurels. 
You're right. So they didn't put up a smashing fight against us at the Quidditch Cup final. It was very sweet of them to like all of the teams to attend our party. And they're hoping to beat us this time around. They'll definitely be upping their game. This season is certain to present all sorts of new difficult challenges, and we must be ready for them. We have a long road ahead of us if we hope to make it to the Quidditch Cup final. And that goes especially for you, Srahi, because in a sharp. <laughs> you'll also be embarking on a new journey as well as seeker. Just give me the seeker mini game so you can end the video. That's right. I'll be taking over for our previous seeker while they're studying at the Golden Sage Sanctuary. <laughs> the smashing new spirit. I'm getting goose pimples thinking about what's ahead for for us this year. Goose pimples. What are you more excited, most excited for this season, Srahi? Um, I, the only thing I can look forward for is the Golden is the Golden Sage mini game. I don't care about being captain. I I just I hate I hate everything. I am most excited about diving into my new role as a Hufflepuff seeker. It was fine to make us a seeker, but who? Who was a dumbass who made us a captain? Jam City, explain. I can't wait to get out there and start catching golden snitches. Just don't catch the snitches too quick, Rahi. Let us chase the scores of points first, lol. Of course, Sky. I keep that in mind. This could turn out to be our most thrilling season of Quidditch yet, and with that in mind, let's get it started. So, what's the contract for this season? Let's all head on over to the changing room to gear up for our first practice. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to need to get used to the seeker mini game. The beater mini game was pretty easy. Let's see what the seeker mini game has. We have a big problem. Come to the changing room quick. Oh boy, what is it? We are one part into the new season. What is it? Holy frick! What the hell? Oh boy, who tore up the uniforms? I mean, this is so obviously done by a creature that I can't even say. So I look, okay, let me get something straight. We're going to get in here. One of the teams is going to get accused. We're going to spend the next like three chapters of like asking the other teams like, did you do this? Did you do this? Did you do this? We're going to accuse them and everything, only to find out like a niffler or something does this, because this is so obviously done by a creature that I I can't even say anything. How did this even happen? Oh no! What in the name of Monarch's beard happened here? Are changing rooms in trash? That's what. That is so obviously. This is so obviously done by creatures. <laughs> and I have a feeling it was the firecrab, nizel, niffler, and flower worm that we brought into the changing room that one time. But it gets even worse. Right? Take a look. What? What? What is it? Our Quidditch shops have been torn to shreds. I will get other ones. It is possible to get other ones right. A smashing way to start our season, right out of the gate, and it's already gone all to pot. You won't be able to hold our first practice wearing those, that's for sure. Who would do such a thing again? I'm willing to bet money that these are creatures. Some sort of creature did this. No human being did this. Could be someone trying to intimidate us on an opposing team prank. Look, this these opposing teams are legitimately nice. I don't think this is how they would start out a season. Whoever did this probably snuck in while we were all out on the pitch for our first meeting of the season. Hmm, perhaps you're right, Ori, and obviously when else they would they sneak in? Let's have a look around, see if we can find any evidence. I'm I'm pretty sure this was a creature. This wasn't these were this wasn't a human being's work at all. I'm not even sitting straight on the camera anymore. That's how I'm 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 not happy. I am not happy. I wonder if the culprit destroyed our rope to stop us from training. I don't think the lack of rope would stop us from training. Technically, all we need to do is get on our brooms and play. I don't know who did this, but they are going to play. Again, this has to be a creature. I stand my ground. It could take hours to clean all this mess up. So that's for sure. But we didn't cause it, so it's not clearly this was an act of aggression by one of our opposing team. No, this was not. They're, they're genuinely nice people. How can we practice while our quidditch ropes have been destroyed? We can't practice without our quidditch ropes, okay? The thing is that, what is this? What is this? This is weird thing. What is a treacle tart doing? That's a treacle tart. I I genuinely thought that was a dump. <laughs> It's your first day as captain, and with it comes your first obstacle too. See, this is why you shouldn't have made me captain. I bring bad luck, Orion. Uh, and the only thing weird here is a treacle tart. Look, everyone, I found something. It appears to be a piece of treacle tart. Everyone on this team knows we are not supposed to bring food into the changing room. I think it stands to reason that this evidence was left behind by a culprit, so it wasn't a creature, huh? We don't need to follow pastry crumbs to know who destroyed our ropes, Rahi. Do you have an idea of who could be behind this bean? I think Sky is right. This was clearly done by one of our opponents trying to gum us, gum up the start of the season. Again, I really don't think it's anyone from the opposing team. They're such genuinely nice people. I who want a fair match. 
दे आर नॉट वंस टू डू दिस थ्रू अस अ पार्टी फॉर हेल्थ से Clearly, Sidhu wants to get back at us for the cup. I think we should report them. Nah, I I really don't think it's them. If I am captain, can I at least do this right? Hmm. I think we should be careful about making accusations before we know all the facts. But the call is yours to make, sir. As Harper's captain, how do you like to proceed? Let's wait until we more know more. Yeah, I I agree with Oriya at least. Accusing an opponent of wrongdoing before we know all the facts would have serious repercussions. We've had that before. Please take the first season as an example. We don't want a rat situation again. This is Cecilia during my first season on the team and Sky accused Dad of stealing her comet 220. Yep. I think we should hold off on taking any official action until we know for sure what's happened here. That is a cautious decision sir and a wise one in my opinion. In the meantime it's absolutely crucial that we find out some new quidditch tropes over here because we won't be able to hold our first friendly of the season until we do. You are right sir I without practice rules you won't be able to tell who is on which team for the friendly. Really? It's possible. I mean But as always, you captain, I have faith that you can solve this problem and get our training back on track. Just give me the seeker mini game already, man. Stop calling me captain. Thanks, Odin. This is my first big challenge as captain, and I know the team is counting on me to come through. Oops. <sighs> Penny, it's Penny. I don't see Madam Hooch anywhere, sir. I hear. Smashing. She isn't even here. We'll never get a new rose of practice at this rate. Hi, Penny. I don't care. Please piss the hell off. Not only Sky, maybe Penny can tell us where Madam Pooch is. Hi, Penny. Have you seen Madam Pooch? I want to go. We've come to speak with her about a very urgent matter. I'm looking for her too, Sky, but I can't seem to find her anywhere. I was hoping to get a head start preparing for the first pre-match party with her. What? I'm excited for the new season to begin, especially now that you're taking over the two new roles on the team. Shut the hell up! I don't mention it. It seems like just yesterday you took me to see my first Quidditch match. I saved you from a rock glider that day too, as I recall. Maybe Penny should never have taken me for that Quidditch match. I was never interested. Yes, and now I'm the half a seeker as well as the oh, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. I can't imagine it will be easy juggling both those roles, but if anyone can do it, it's you, Sirahi. Thanks, Penny. I'm quite eager for a new season to begin. And as I told the team during the first meeting, I'm particularly looking forward to catching Golden Sage as the half a new seeker. Unfortunately, we hit a setback. Our changing room has been ransacked and our robes have been destroyed. That's terrible. I don't believe anyone would do such a thing. I really just don't think it's a person. I think it's a creature. We're not sure who's responsible yet, and I've decided not to report the incident until we know more. No, we need to report. I said we wouldn't report Slytherin. I didn't say we wouldn't report the incident. We should report the incident, but not know who did it. But in the meantime, we need to find some replacement rope so we can hold our first practice of the season. Well, if it's replacement rope you're looking for, perhaps I can help. Oh, snooze fest! <laughs> I recently saw Madam Moose transporting some extra robes into storage. Smashing Penny, where'd she put them? Ah, uh, that's an excellent question. I've been so busy running around the team, preparing for the pre-match party, and going to classes that the entire day has become a total blur. I can't seem to remember exactly where I saw her. <sighs> Penny, you're not. You're completely useless. You're not useful for anything. You're the worst character in this game. Don't worry, Penny. Let's work together to retrace your steps and jog your memory. Hopefully, then you'll be able to remember where you saw Madam. Who stored those extra robes? Happy thoughts, Akini. Happy thoughts. Think of Pokemon. In order to not completely fall asleep while doing this chapter, I decided to just skip over the rest of the energy sections. I don't want to have to commentate over them. I'm still upset with this chapter. I don't like this. I don't like any of this. So, Penny, now that you've retraced your steps, do you remember where you saw the extra Quidditch robes? Yes, it's all coming back to me, Sarah. And as I now recall, Professor Snape sent me to the artifact room to restock the supply of Felarian Springs. <laughs> And that's why I ran into Madam Moose storing a large trunk of extra Quidditch robes. Are you certain that Sir you saw her, Penny? I'm certain I saw Madam Moose put the robes in the artifact room. You three should look for them there. <laughs> Smashing! Thanks for your help, Penny. It sounds like the artifact room was our next stop, Sir Sir. When I agreed to be captain of Hull Puff, I didn't know that we were chasing robes all over throughout the school. Yeah, this Sir, you shouldn't be captain. You bring bad luck. If I wasn't captain, the robes would not be trashed. Of course, you did, Sir. But that's what being a leader is all about. Shut the hell up, Orion. I don't want to be a leader. Some challenges. Stop talking! Stop talking! Stop talking! Go! What the hell is this? And why are you too worried? What happened? This is the room where Penny swears she saw Madam Pooch store the extra Quidditch robes. And from the look of all this clutter, Madam Pooch isn't the only one using this place for storage. It could take hours to find what we're looking for, and that's probably just what our mystery robe ripper wants. 
We can't afford any more delays. We need to cut those ropes quick so we can have our first friendly. Don't worry, Sky. I'm sure we can make short work of finding these ropes. If you're looking for yellow clothes, it's not going to be that hard to spot. After all, the three of us star players of our group can do anything when we work together. Yes, we did make a smashing team and we rescued Murphy's Nizel from the coldest snitch. Ah, oh, that poor Nizel. We are quite power. We are quite the power trio. I'll certainly give you that. Yeah, I mean we are power trio. But I think it's most powerful when Orion is captain. I'll never stop being upset about that. Let's search the room and see if we can find Madam Hooch's reserve store of Quidditch ropes. Please stop reiterating and do things. Now looky here. There's a trunk right over there, which is obviously the trunk we are looking for because it looks different from the others. The opening the trunks is the first thing we should be doing. This trunk is monogrammed with the initials R H. Anything with R kind of just raises red flags for me. Picture these robes in your mind's eye, and they will manifest themselves. That's <laughs> that's not how it works. Sorry, I'm so sorry. I don't see any Quidditch robes over here. Sorry, open the trunks. You dumbasses! Oh, I got what the R H stands for, Rolanda Hooch. This is Rolanda Hooch. That's what R H stands for. Look, this must be the trunk full of proof that Penny saw Madam Hooch holding into storage. I don't think it is. I really don't think it is. <laughs> you find Madam Hooch is reserved for Quidditch shops. Thanks. Smashing works. I don't care. Go ahead and crack it open so we can suit up and get on with our practice. Huh, there's just one problem. The trunk appears to be locked shut. You know, allo allo homora, dingus. Just use it. Good thing we know allo homora. The flick of my wand, those roots will be ours in no time. Hold on, Sky. I'm not sure Madam Hooch would appreciate us breaking into her personal storage. Are you suggesting we find Madam Hooch and ask for her permission first, Orion? Yes. Yes, it might take a little longer, but I think perhaps it would be wise to play it safe in this situation. We don't have time for that. We need to get those ropes and head to the pitch straight away and start practicing. It's your call, Captain. How would you like to proceed? Wait for permission. I agree with Orion once again. I agree with Orion. We should seek out Madam Hooch's permission to use her extra ropes. It might delay our practice a little bit longer, but we should do this probably and buy the book. <laughs> I think that's a great call, Sunny. Thank you, Orion. You won't want to risk another suspension over this, so it's smart to follow the rules and play it safe. Playing it safe isn't exactly my strong suit, but you're the boss, Rahi. And I'll go track down Madam Hooch and ask her permission to take the ropes. And once I have them, I'll meet you out in the Quidditch pit so we can uh, have our first friendly of the season. Good. Thank goodness we didn't do that. Okay, so I assume we all got our ropes. Hopefully, maybe did we? Hey, Captain, I'm trying to perfect the hanging pal broomstick block. Got any tips, me? All oh, right. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I, I, I did not process your sentence for a whole minute there. This is going to be our best season yet, Sarah. I can feel it in my heart. Thank you, Orion. But I really just want you to be captain. I'm just going to assume Orion is captain by listening to everything he says. Sky should be here by now. Where is she? Yeah, Sky is not here. Sky should be arriving at any moment with our new Quidditch ropes, and once she does, you can finally suit up and have our first friendly of the season. Hopefully, she was able to find Madam Hooch and ask permission for the ropes. By the looks of it, I'd say Sky found Madam Hooch all right. Oh, thank goodness we didn't break and open. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Just that that chest floating just beside Madam Hooch is very funny. Madam Hooch, hello, Miss Silvers. Miss Parker here tells me that you'd like to request some new robes for your team. Yes, our old robes got destroyed and we need to replace them. Hmm, I'm not generally in the habit of distributing new Quidditch robes without good cause. Excuse me, excuse me. Our robes got destroyed. What other good cause do you need? Please, Madam Hooch, allow me a chance to explain our situation. I once I have hopefully will be convinced to provide us with some new robes. Why would she not provide us with new uniforms? Isn't it the school's responsibility to provide students with new uniforms if their old ones have been destroyed in an accident that they could not have stopped? What is what is the problem here? Madam Hooch is just being a pain in the butt at this point for no reason. She's like my visual arts professor. So, Madam Hooch, now that we've had a chance to explain exactly what happened, surely you can see why we came to you for uh, came to you asking for some new robes. It's not our fault they got destroyed. We were outside. We came back inside to change, and our robes were just destroyed. I've considered everything you said and that you and your teammates have told me. And in doing so, it's become quite clear that you've handled this matter responsibly and with honor. So, for that reason, I've decided to grant your request and provide help after the replacement robes. Thank you. We should not have had to convince you on this. It is the school's responsibility to provide the students with uniforms. Either you provide us with uniforms, or you shouldn't bother having a like sports team at all. Brilliant. Thank you, Madam Hooch. 
treat them well, Miss Silvers, because I will not be issuing any more replacements to Hufflepuff after this. Again, if someone else destroys them, what are we supposed to do? Keep an eye on them at all times? We have other things to do also. You're the one who suspended Bean for not having good marks. You have my word as captain that we will treat our new rows with the best of care. It's not like we treated our old rows with bad care. Okay? Now that we have our new rows, we can finally have our first practice session, practice of the season. This is great news for the team. There is, however, still one matter that remains unresolved. And that's the identity of our tree tart intruder who wrecked our changing room in the first place. About that, Sarahi, I have some information that you think you want to hear. What is it, Bean? I know who's responsible for leaving that treacle tart behind in the changing room. You do? Yes, come find me after practice and I'll tell you everything I know. Okay, alright Bean, we'll meet back in the changing room later to discuss what you've learned. But in the meantime, let's kick off our first practice of the season with a good old fashioned friendly. Yeah, I need to practice the Seeker minigame. Also, um, <laughs> I think Bean is the one who left the treacle tart behind. And she's afraid that it's going to insinuate her as the perpetrator, which is entirely not true because she was with us in the huddle. So <laughs> I think that's what's gonna happen. Now it's time to practice the seeker mini game. I usually skip over the Quidditch, but I always do the first mini game of the season. Silver sprawls a bit. I stand for just one thing: the golden snitch. I wonder what this is gonna look like. What the hell is this? I, I, I'm still getting used to this targets. Okay. Again, like all mini games, we need to just. Okay. <laughs> what the hell is that? Well, I see the snitch. What is this? Silvers has locked in on the golden snitch. This could spell trouble for the opposing team. There better be one uh, move where we can just like ram into the opposing seeker, like in the movies. I also we just found the page. Did we lose it again? How is this helping? Oh. Oh, so it gives us a warning on when. Okay, so this is oh, this is a good mini game. I like this mini game. I immediately like this. Oh, <laughs> you're looking down the stitches right over there. Opposing bludger. Yeah, most of the bludgers get aimed at seekers. I should know that. I was a beater. Whoa. It will be hard to get perfects on this. But um, at least we get a warning for when it will happen. Okay. So, the each circle blinks. Before uh, you need to actually hit it. Which is great. You got a warning for which circle you need to hit next. Which is great. Because my game lags a lot when it comes to Quidditch. I time to actually catch the snitch. What the? Nothing is. This isn't working. Nah, I did not catch the snitch my first time, I guess. I guess I didn't catch the snitch the first time. I still need more practice. It's fine, I think we still won the match. Yeah, we still won the match. I, the first time I didn't catch the snitch. I don't know whether that was the game lagging or just me not being able to understand the mini game. I'll be fine. It'll just take a little more practice. <sighs> Season 4, Chapter 1 completed. New threads! This is a horrible start to Quidditch. To a new season. I absolutely hate the fact that they made us captain. Like, the entirety of the last season, I was just wondering, when are we gonna get Orion back as captain? When are we gonna get Orion back as captain? I want Captain Orion, I want Captain Orion. And they just never brought back Captain Orion. Does Damsu City not know how much people absolutely adore Captain Orion? Everybody loves Captain Orion. What made them think like they needed to have Orion step down and have MC become the captain? Like, whose idea was this? Nobody wanted this. This was this is not even like it was a fan requested like it was a requested thing like a lot of the families were saying I want to be captain I want to be captain nobody was saying this nobody wanted to be captain so this was basically just Jam City being an ass and wanting to make um, MC even more of a Mary Sue than she already is see this is why head cannons exist it's the only way to remain sane playing this game I'm so upset by this I don't want to be captain I miss Orion I miss Orion already he's still here a thing that Mama Tori and I discussed in like the entirety of the last season. 
that the worst part about it is that Orion is having a crisis and none of us ever thought to help him. None of his teammates, his family, the the the, the teammates he calls family, we did not try to help him one bit. We gain his like sense of balance. All we were concerned about is the Kurich Cup, which yes. We, it is fine for us to be concerned about the Kodich Cup, but we should also be like trying to help Orion, right? Heal up. We should be helping him heal. We should be helping him like get his balance back. But we're just very stupid. None of us tried to help him, and when we did help him, it was only in the interest of playing Kodich. It's like we don't care about anyone except Kodich, which is like the complete opposite of what people actually feel. People don't play Kodich because they like Kodich. Kodich is. completely obsolete in this game and nobody is interested in it what does interest the people are the characters sky is mostly hated but she is also beloved by many i for one love sky murphy is very beloved orion is also very beloved people only play quidditch for these characters nobody cares about the actual playing quidditch part Anyway, I am done complaining. This is a longer video. This is a long Quidditch video than I thought. Usually, Quidditch videos are not more than twenty minutes long. This is going to be like about thirty, forty minutes long. I think I don't know how I'll edit this. In any case, I am legally required to say. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I, 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 I really hope that my playthroughs are useful to people, just so that they know what to expect in this game. Really, I think that's the point of me playing this game on YouTube. Still, I really hope we get to see the main story more. Because I'm not going to be able to think about anything else until we get Rayquick back in the story. So, bye everyone and have a nice day. I love you all, especially those of you who watched the full video. <laughs> bye everyone, have a nice day. I'm going to hop into Momotori's DMs and complain about this for half an hour. <laughs>